free. Oh, hello, welcome to Thanks. All About the Acoustic Bass. And uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Thanks look at to this. Marvin for that one, I think. Yeah. We have to, yeah, we have, oh, we yeah. Have to... All rights uh, yeah. credited to where they're due. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, still, you can't, that's only four chords. You can't copyright that, can you? Yeah. Or can you? Probably. I think somebody Maybe. Has. Maybe with that little jingle thing. Anyway, so yes. So listen, this seems to be a, a slightly different. What are we What are we doing? I thought, as we've, we've taken on this lovely new brand of uh, acoustic guitars, and there's an acoustic bass. Whoa! In the Alvarez range. So Alvarez have been around for, uh, for about 50 years. It's an American company but, uh, built outside, outside the, uh, of the States. Um, forest and built now, and we've got a whole range of acoustic guitars that, uh, well, some, something for everyone. There's grand auditoriums, there's dreadnoughts, there's smaller folk sizes. Okay, and so this is a whole range of acoustics. Full range. I think we, we ordered about 80 different guitars, and we're just getting it down to now about sort of 40 to be stocking, right. uh, uh, to, to continue stocking. Okay. Um, but this one, uh, I thought for working for a little bit with the with the bass, that's this, uh, this gorgeous electroacoustic bass that they brought out is in the range. I thought we'd just look at the baritone The as baritone, well. yes. It's a lovely thing, isn't it? It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's pretty. And th this is only 500 quid. Like this, actually. We're matching, matching 499, 499. Okay. Um, and a baritone guitar, for those that don't know, is? Is it? Yeah, it's a guitar, slightly longer scale and tuned B to B. So a fifth below. That's right, isn't it? A fourth below. Um, but yeah, so a B to B instead of E to E. Okay. So you get that lower register. So it's just a little bit of uh, altering in your head. You don't want to suddenly start playing your regular chords. You think, what is People get very confused. Yeah, it, it does something, though, to your playing, though, doesn't it? We'll get onto the bass in a minute, but, like, the, uh, the baritone, it, I don't know if you've, you've had, like, a few minutes with it, man. It just makes you play differently, even just acoustic guitar. It's yeah, something else it's, it's with really, that register. Well, it's a, it's, a lovely, uh, it's a lovely sound, yeah. Yeah. So... Um, but what they're doing with all of their all of their electroacoustics, they've got some really really good pickups. They use all use LR bags oh, systems. Okay. So the preamp in this is really really good LR bag system. Um, this is solid spruce top, and you've got a, a laminate mahogany back and sides. If I just flip that over. <laughs> oh yes, nice. laminate mahogany, um, all satin finish um, on the back, gloss on the top. Uh, you've got mahogany neck. Uh, rosewood solid board. Top, solid top, obviously, I guess. This right? is indeed solid top. This is a rosewood, uh, sort of uh, engra oh, sorry, engraved, it carved out one piece of rosewood for the bridge to get the extra stability and the, and the break angle there, apparently. Right, right, right. Really decent tuners. Little cutaway up there, so you can get Little the cutaway, dusty end. Get out the dusty dust end. <coughs> yeah. 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 And, uh, um, and yeah, just re a really nice, comfortable size. <laughs> Lovely. Think, it, you know, looks, it looks really, yeah. It's, yeah, it's I, all right. I personally don't own an acoustic bass. Have you got one? Have you got uh, no. One? No. No, I really haven't. Never, never have. But uh, I yeah, certainly wouldn't rule it out. It's one of these things, I think, I kind of make some of my years ago used to have them and it always used to come around out at the campfire normally it was oh, yeah? all like parties in the woods and stuff. oh right yeah out camping do that? yeah we used to have parties in the woods and oh yeah out with the scout with master. the yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Fair enough. yeah we'll leave it at that uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> scout master yeah, yeah of no, course there is a court case pending so we better, <laughs> no. better, better not go into that no it's nothing mm. like that this well. isn't my bohemian mm. hippie mates that uh, mm. used to live on the canal in watford on their boats and we used to have like parties in the woods and yeah yeah anyway wow um, what a life yeah um but they used to come out then i've done one recording session myself with that i had to get an acoustic bass like this for okay. it was just to get that that tonality um i thought i could do it in the fretless but no they they yeah, demanded that no 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 can't do it you've got to have an acoustic bass right so i think i had i think a takamini or a martin or something that i, that I borrowed but that's the only thing i've played over the years really right apart from what's been in in store and seeing what people wanted so um it is a very unique set it is an acoustic bass literally as as it is not the st traditional style double bass or you can get that a lot of different tones and s swells with the fretless um aspect of that but i wonder what this would be like with flat rounds on have you ever tried that that's a good shout would no. that work yeah oh no it would do well actually saying that you need bronze normally bronze strings on these right uh do they make a flat get... round bronze string that's the question i don't I don't know, to be honest, man. So but, what's um, on regular bases then? Regular bases is nickel round round. Would that work? When would that not work? You should do. I mean, unless it's... Yeah, really. I mean, it's, it's going to have some sort of connectivity there. But yeah, we should give that a go at some point. I'd love to... Yeah, it's going to make it feel a lot nicer. Yeah, all right. Not today. 
Not today. We haven't got time for that. <laughs> we haven't got time for that now. All that nonsense. All right, well, look, why don't we um, see what the um, the preamp does? Yeah, to show right. us some of the yeah, seals. Okay. Who am I looking at, Chris? You want a bit of this? Right. You want a bit of you this? You want a bit of this? <laughs> uh, so we have... You good? Look at that. Volume first. Bit of volume. You've got your uh, notch notch switch, which I've got in the middle. You've got tuner built in, which is very handy. You've got the phase button. So if you get any feedback issues, which we were just then, just in, in this sort of setup. So that's in. Oh, and let's take that out. Okay, right. And we have a three-band EQ. So you've got bass, middle, treble. Uh, just to scope, yeah, scope the sound as, as you need from here, if, you, if you're not using it from uh, And what's the pot there? Again, do you, do We've got mean? phase. And the pot in the middle? A notch. Oh, that's an okay. Is that for the, the mid? I believe so. Okay. I was going to just be, get a bit of volume. Let's have a little look. Well, do you want me to uh, whittle about with it while you... Uh... Well, let's have a little... I'll tell you what. Let's turn the notch off. Put bass and treble down to the down to normal. Right. Notch. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Wind, I'll wind it in. Shaped it. Scoop. Yeah. Scoops it. Scoops it out. Right. Yeah. It's quite nice actually with that in. Mmm. I like. I like it. I like. I like. like. It. That's with it off. Sounds very nice. Very we're, we're, nice clarity. <coughs> we're going through a Fishman. It's not an acoustic. Obviously, it's not a bass amp. It's but not, it's, it's an acoustic amp that's um yeah absolutely yeah. designed to enhance sort of acoustic instruments. Right, that sounds very nice. It uh, does. Of course, yeah. you, we haven't got it mic'd up, but you've got it DI'd. So got the DI, and we've got a little bit of the yeah natural sort of sound of the bass coming through as well from the from the mics in front. So yeah, um, really easy to play. To be honest, like I say, a lot of the finish in the neck is really really comfy. It's not too big. Really nicely finished with a satin satin finish. Right. Um, no sharp edges or anything like that. The frets are nicely finished. So just all round. I mean, what we you experienced in the store, just having this brand as mainly mainly for guitars as well. Just the quality is, is amazing for what you get for the money. It's, it seems to be one of those another company like that where you always think of Ibanez, for example, as always putting a lot in for your for your money and mm. um, obviously Sire as well. What we've been looking at first, but um, but it feels it feels. Good, and it feels it feels like a lot of bass for five hundred quid. To be honest, feels good. Feels good. Feels good. So, so yeah. Shall we have a little play around? See what different sounds we can get out of it. Oh, yeah, I just did that. You pretty much did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Oh, do well, it again. It. No, no, this is it. No, I think well, the main thing is I just want to see. Like, say, what would you <coughs> use? What would you mainly use for? It really is like I don't know if a busker would go out. Do you busk with acoustic basses? I don't know where they're, where they're really used now. Well, well, a lot of people like doing unplugged um, sets and stuff in, in pubs. A lot of, you know, you might be just doing a duo or a guy with a cajon Good chat. and yeah. uh, all acoustic. And really, you just want that vibe. Yeah. Because people Nothing see too. it. Do you know what I mean? And people would see an acoustic thing. And I think that's the idea. Yeah. Is that people like that whole, uh, um, even though you're plugging Pretty it in. Unplug. Yeah. It's not yeah. the point, is it? The idea is it's an acoustic bass. Yeah. And it fits it. in with the whole sort of chilled out, unplugged vibe. So, well, I mean, with that as well, we should probably say, say the actual, the sound of it, unplugged. I mean, not through a pickup. I mean, you're going to hear it through the mic there, but. The night is a nice, it's a nice usable volume, isn't it? Really, say with acoustic, acoustic instruments, if you're not going to plug it in as well, it is still. Well, that, of still course, that's the other, the other, another use for it uh, is if you go off on holiday or something. Like, say, you go off in your caravan. Yeah, and uh, take that with you in a gig bag, and you don't have to take it out with you. Then you just got your, yeah, yeah, you've got your own amplifier right here. You whip it out of an evening, and then when you finish doing that, you <laughs> get your bass out, and then uh, <laughs> and uh, sit around the campfire and and you know get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. So this is their only bass, as far as far as I know, that we've got in at the moment. 
Right. Uh, we should do probably do another acoustic bass. I think you did one years ago, a couple of years back, of like what was around at that point. Yeah. Some Sigma stuff, I think, you had. There's a new Fender in the range, which is a uh, Fender around that sort of 200, 300 pound. Oh, yeah. So you should maybe have a look at that. But this but is one of those... Be, yeah, we do a little comparison thing maybe between the... Uh... Yeah, that's a slightly smaller body from, remember, uh, from memory, and um, I don't think it's a solid top, but correct me if I'm wrong, but this just feels really, really good. You can feel the quality in these instruments. Um, and yeah, just really, really impressed by this brand. So Alvarez, they're back with a, back with a force. Cool. And back with an acoustic bass. Hey, hey. Nice one. All right, well, I think that's, nice. just, that's just about wraps that up, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, see what you think. Give us a call, guys. Any questions? Otherwise, have a look on the oh, look online. Say, so, check out the guitars as well. The Barry's are good. The Barry, Barry's beautiful. Barry's tone is a good one. Well, hey. hey. Barry's tone. Barry's tone. Do, 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 do. Let's start that again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's a very nice finish too, isn't it? That sunburst. All right, cool. All right. This has been all Let's about the bass. Play. I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. Hope you've enjoyed it. Come and check it out in the store. It's really nice. It's nice. See you next time. Bye.